I hope this video is worth it, because apparently despite typing the Owl House Steve, I JUST SPOILED EVERYTHING ABOUT AMPHIBIA'S FINALE! Fuck. Hello Spirit, so recently a new Owl House video was released. Well, by recently, I mean a week ago. And one of its reveals inspired me to make this video. A character who started as a joke, but fan service happened, and he became a supporting character with character growth. So without further ado... The Owl House is a 2020 animated show created by Dana Terrace. It centers around a human called Luz who went through a mysterious portal belonging to the Owl Lady, Ida. She's also joined by two others, Hootie and King. But after staying in the Boiling Isles for too long, she gets trapped there after she destroys the door, so the main antagonist can't get it. And that's the gist of the premise. If you want to follow the full story and cast the characters, I recommend you either wait 6 months for Disney to add the other half of the Owl House of Season 2, or you watch the show using the Owl Club. Well, you see, it's Steve. In other words, Steve is fan service. Why you may ask? From the few comments I've gathered, it seems the reason Steve was, well, really liked because he wasn't like the other guards. In one scene alone, we know more about this guard than the others we've been shown so far. The others were just enforcing rules, but this guard had charm, charisma, he had a name. And it took one scene for Dana to recognise that her fans loved and adored him. Or they at least memed on him enough to actually like him as a character. I have With his more frequent appearances, the most he would get was a few lines or a mention, but how was he handled? As of Season 2, he made more appearances, but Dana made sure not to overuse him. Something to note is that fan service can always be done very bad, and since Steve isn't the main character, each appearance feels like a treat to see. Fun fact, according to the creator, there was supposed to be a small story showing us the sibling relations between Steve and Matt, but due to the season 3 shorten, fuck you Disney by the way, it most likely won't be a thing, but it is canon. Boom, <coughs> back on topic. But usually when someone reveals their face to the audience, that can be a bad thing. This is shown with Halo. No explanation is needed. Unlike that piece of shit, Steve's face reel had fans loving him even more. A lot saying this is how they imagined Steve, and were happy that he wasn't playing the nice card to be evil. Wait, Dana, I'm begging you, you know what happened to Lilith. Actually, he did. In episode 19, the episode we also learned he left the Emperor's Coven, he was also giving King a stress free day. The two were having fun in a short montage, helping the townsfolk, and by the end of it, King vented to Steve what he was feeling. And in turn, Steve gave some words of advice, which tie in well with his character. Just about every appearance he's had, he's either having fun, or he's getting attacks less tormented. Hey Steve! Jump over that chasm before I throw you in it! And this was part of the coven he wanted to be in since he was young, and at that time, mixed in with hanging around Lilith's friends slash family, have made him more insightful about it. In other words, he thinks the Ephraim's Coven isn't what he thinks they are, or at least were. Steve was a perfect example how to do fan service, give a well-liked character, minimal appearances, and have him play a role that isn't major. Companies can always overkill this, but hopefully they can take inspiration from Steve on how to handle them. Back to this outro, huh? I didn't do one in the bad guys video because it didn't really fit. I think I'll reserve these for media thoughts like this. And just so we're on the same track, that amphibia thing at the start, that, that, that wasn't a joke. I really had just about everything spoiled to me. God, I hate YouTube. Anyways, thanks for watching. Overwatch 2 video soon.